And as we look back at the Rajasthan Royals this season, they would be proud of their campaign. They made the final. This was a newly assembled bowling attack. Nobody was part of the Royals before this season. They picked up Ashwin from Delhi. They had Trent Bolt from Mumbai. Prasid Krishna was at KKR. Chehel was at Bangalore. So this is a completely auction assembled bowling lineup. Uh, and that's been, you could say, their strength. But Butler ends up with the orange cap. Chehel ends up with the purple cap. They don't end up winning. So where did this team lack? Is it again Butler and not much more? Potentially, I think. When, 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 if you remove Butler from that team, are you intimidated by that batting lineup? And I think there's this Hetmore at times who can take you down. Um, just while showed at times he can be aggressive. Patakol as well, Sanju. But there's nothing that can go as long as a Butler. There's there's no one who who, who has proven themselves to, I suppose, extend that 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 level of, of strike rate, and Butler was the only one. And Butler had an exceptional season. I mean, can't take anything away from it. It's one of the best IPL batting seasons you'll see. 400s, um, a team will get to the final on the, on the back of that sort of performance with the bowling pack they have. So I, I think Jaswell is a fantastic player. I think Butler and him can be a great opening combination. Sanju, we know, is a brilliant player. Just needs to go on a little bit longer, get to the 27th ball. Um, <laughs> as we say, it's just potentially that middle order. Can they strengthen that middle order, the all-rounder spot? And that's not saying Ashwin can't do it. It just, it just feels a little light in those early stages. And maybe that's just a reflection of Trent Bolt at eight, and we, we, and we think that's just too short a batting lineup. Um, but apart from that, I, I, they, they made the final. They've had a great yeah. season. So do you believe there's not much personnel change needed, Sanjay? Because... If you had Hetmeyer firing in the second half, which he just went off the boil when he took a break and came back, or if Samson fires one more big game, fires tonight, for instance, could be a different story. Or do they need more backup? Are they still getting their best team out with the use of Ryan Parag? Of uh, they kept an overseas all rounder out for a long time. Do they need to change things up, or is this just is this team just fine? I think uh, you've got. About 80%, 90% of the team, right, for next season as well. Uh, let's not forget, Butler went off the boil big time in seven games. And Hetmeyer also had gone away from the IPL back home. And Rajasthan was still able to win games. So that should give them some confidence. But uh, clearly, uh, you know, today you could see that uh, they had no option but to just bowl their five overs, out of which um, Ashwin was more an economical bowler. So... Ashwin with Chehel is a great combo and they'll get uh, more, you know, helpful pitches next year, hopefully. So that's fine. But somewhere in the batting, uh, they need a, a, a batter who is a little more consistent maybe than a Parag and able to bowl uh, two or three over. Somebody like a Tevatya, for example, could be a good fit and they should be okay. Hmm. Otherwise, it looks like a fairly positive Review from both Dan and Sanjay for the Rajasthan Royals who unfortunately fall short on the night of Can the I final. make one final comment Please, on Sanjay. this? Uh, is that, you know, uh, when we sort of, uh, you know, when a team succeeds or team wins, this is, a, this is wisdom that has come to me after 14 years of watching the IPL and T20 cricket. Once a team succeeds, then we find reasons for their success. Uh, you know, what, what clicked. So, you know, what I think, uh, what, what I've realized is that we've, say, you know, this is the thing that clicked for Gujarat this season, for Rajasthan this season. Because who knows? You know, now we think they've got a nice bunch of players, Gujarat Titans, you know, great auction. They've got the right players and they've responded. Rajasthan as well. What's the guarantee that next season these guys will be back in the top four or in contention to be in the finals? So, I think a true uh, a team that has found its winning formula uh, will back it up by another uh, impressive season and that's what I'm waiting for with both Gujarat Titans and Rajasthan Royals.